Now, ultimately, after learning all of this, I think there is a larger point that I'm trying to make, really with this whole idea. And that's the fact that what I really think we need is what I would call just a real education on alternatives. Like, as a population, I feel like we don't get enough uh, alternatives. Like, we, everything is like, okay, these are your choices. And the, there's just certain instances like this one where there must be more options, right? Like, I'm, I'm not an economics professor. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a tax expert. But essentially what it seems like to me is that the government pitches tax plans to us every election cycle. As basically, you have a choice between one of these two plans. You either go with the Republican plan or the Democrat plan. That's it. We just have these two plans, one or the other, every election cycle. That's it. And basically, those plans are just a giant combination of really long and really confusing tax laws and a bunch of bullshit, and like a lot of economic plans. And I don't even think the people that are that are forming a lot of these plans fully understand them. I definitely don't think that the people that are pitching them to us fully understand them. And to use a sports analogy, I feel like what happens is the government sort of acts as the head coach and they go out and sell the vision or the game plan to us. We're like the team and they're like, here's the vision. Here's the game plan. And these are, this is it. Like these are the options. Like we're pitching it to you and then after the fact, if it works and people are happy, they take the, the praise for it. And if it doesn't work, they take the blame for it, right? But I, I saw a YouTube comment on the video and it mentioned Stockholm Syndrome. And I think that's a great point because it seems like we're held hostages by the aspects of these systems, like this tax system. Like you either get this one or that one, that's it. It's these two, they're kind of the same and we can't really explain them well enough to you uh, for you to feel like it makes any sense. Like they dumb it down, right? Like everything's like just less or more, like as if we as the population can't understand like a, a simple discussion about these things, right? And w we almost do have that Stockholm syndrome. Like we're we're held hostages by the aspects of these this tax system and we all of a sudden start to defend them at times and we're, we, do, we accept them. And I just thought that Stockholm syndrome metaphor was, was a good one because it does feel like that sometimes. And in reality, this isn't our only choice. Like there are a host of other options that we could slowly and thoughtfully transition into. And I think these Pagovian taxes are, are one of them. Like when it comes to, to, taxes in the United States, it isn't this left or right, red or blue issue. And I think it's important that we understand at times that we do have more options. And that's why I say like, we need to be educated on our alternatives, right? So we can get away from the status quo in some of these areas. No one likes taxes. Like everybody fucking hates taxes. Like I'm not a proponent of more taxes at all. Who is? Everybody hates taxes. But at least I could feel better about them if they were going like if if they were going to things that I like like or and I should actually not not going to but if they were like taxing bad things instead of good things, right? And then giving the money to like fix actual issues, right? Not like salaries for and all this bullshit. Like I, I think most people feel that way. Like most people feel that way. So I think it's important to understand that there are alternatives.